welcome back to our channel. It's Kai and Candy. And first, we want to apologize for the delay in our video making. You guys know we were in our last stages of pregnancy, so we were actually nesting and getting ready for the baby. She's yes. finally here. Um, and I was pretty tired. I was just, I was ready to have her. If you follow me on my own personal Facebook, y'all saw me like walking and doing all this stuff to try to get her out. Mm -hmm. And I did. <laughs> and she was actually born on June 12th. Mm -hmm. It was one week before her uh, due date. She came naturally. She came net naturally. I'm going to talk about the whole uh, process, how I think, you know, I was able to go into labor mm -hmm. on my own labor and delivery video, just so that this video is not too long. But yeah, mm -hmm. 14 hours of labor. And she did good. <laughs> she did Thank good. You. She did. I mean, um, I can't really think of anything that yeah. is too crazy. I think she did really well. Mm -hmm. If you guys follow us on our other social media pages, you have probably already seen the picture of our little one yes. because we've already posted um, a few pictures of her. Yeah. Uh, Anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, okay. Wait. Well, it was kind of different being on the other end of the um, spectrum, I guess you could say, since I was not the pregnant one. I was actually, she was the pregnant one. Um, but it was so amazing. I got a chance to cut the umbilical cord, which is nice. Um, I had a chance to just, you know, hold her hand and walk her through breathing exercises and things like that. Yeah, which um, really helps because when I first went <laughs> and I was just like yelling through the contractions. <laughs> I mean, like literally screaming through the contractions. It was so bad that I remember I was laying down. I was on the monitor. The lady was monitoring my contractions and the baby. And for some reason, like laying like flat on my back, I the contraction was stronger. Like mm -hmm. I had to sit up through the contraction. And I remember her saying that they were not able to monitor me and the baby that way. So I'm like, look, can I just like walk? Can I do something? <laughs> because I can't lay here and do this. And she was like, okay, you can walk, but you're going to have to stop screaming because there's other mothers and children trying to sleep in labor and deliveries. <laughs> She was in there screaming I so was. loud, I but was. you know, um, the crazy thing about it is, is when we first got to the hospital, mm -hmm. um, she had dilated only one centimeter, so right. that was at that time, um, yeah. they were trying to get her to progress to see mm -hmm. if they wanted to keep her or not, yeah. and uh, obviously, you know, we weren't progressing, so they like, just go home right. and come back at a later time, Yeah, and um, even the nurse said when we left, like, you might be back today, but like right, right now she, she you're not basically going just told me, "Hey, this is early labor. It's gonna get worse than this. Right. Go on home." <laughs> and that's what I did. We came home. I was solely exhausted. Yeah, so uh, I slept. I went to sleep on the couch, y'all. I was exhausted, and I was continuing to have contractions if all you night, know, like all night. I swear they were about every ten minutes, then every seven minutes. Like you know, they just come back more frequently so mm -hmm. i had they gave me like a benadryl they told me i was gonna be able to sleep that no <laughs> i took a benadryl and i also had tylenol neither one of those worked at all i was still up howling like a wolf it was just like was i said scary. i'll get more into death <laughs> when i do my labor yeah. and delivery story but how was the process for you to like really i guess watch me give birth the pushing process and the, you know she pushed three times and this baby was out so mm -hmm. I just really didn't have a um crazy experience for me it was just uh, uh awesome like I could see the baby head crowning and you know I'm like she got so much hair already and so it's just you know very exciting to watch as she pushed her out and you know and she just came out crying and I'm just like oh my gosh yeah and we were able to go home in one day which I was super happy about so we have been home now with our beautiful girl which we're gonna show y'all in a minute so about what one one um, week in 10 days 10 days okay yeah because I'll be one of those moms like <laughs> 10, 10 days, days old 
843 minutes old, you know, whatever. She is a really, really good baby, y'all. She, she, she sleeps baby. really well. Besides last night, she kept me up all night. Yeah, all I actually night. have to wake her up to <laughs> um, feed her. I'm, I'm breastfeeding now. Um, I also pump for her as well mm -hmm. to give her um, a couple extra of ounces from what she just can't. Uh, pull out of me all the time breastfeeding is a really challenging process yeah. I did not anticipate it being so hard and um, I feel like on top of being a new mom it is such an exhaustive exhaustive process um, I am exhausted but I have never been more happy to be so tired with this one mm -hmm. right here. She's down here smacking her lips. I wish y'all could hear her. She is so funny. <laughs> she really, really, really is. But um, I guess without further ado, because we have made y'all wait, so long. we will go ahead and first announce her name. Oh, we want to tell you guys what we named her and why. Um, actually, her and I talked about having children a long time ago. I think mm -hmm. we discussed this in a, another video about if we ever had children, um, if we ever had children, what we want to name our child. So, like, maybe about four years ago, we discussed. Longer than that. Maybe longer. Yeah. We discussed, you know, what we wanted our child's name to be, and we were like, we're not going to tell anybody because we don't want anybody to steal it. So, we decided to use that name. Her middle name is um, actually a name uh, Goddaughter's, God Goddaughter's mother. mother she, um, yeah, she came up with the name. We really, really liked it. Yeah. So, I will give you guys a glimpse um, of okay. her name. All right. So, it is Worthy Bryn Brandenburg. Right. That's and this is actually nice. her little card that we... Had made for her hospital crib. Um, yeah. As you so can it see. has her due date, 612. Uh, she was born at 401 p.m., mm -hmm. seven pounds. She was 19 inches and three, four quarters. Yeah. So seven pounds even, y'all. Isn't that strange? Seven, seven pounds, pounds, pounds even. even. So her name is Worthy Bren. Worthy Bren. Mm hmm. So. And so. Yeah. Now we want to introduce you to this Worthy Bren. Little one. Hopefully she, she will act right for y'all. <laughs> uh oh, um, Binky done fell, so maybe not. Say Let's hi, see. everybody. Let's see her. Hi. So, this is my baby. Say hello. <laughs> she <laughs> is so pleasant. Say hi. Nice to meet you all. Hello, you two. Say hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, um, she's really, really, really good. She already has me, of course, wrapped, wrapped around, around her finger. Yeah, she does. She, uh, she loves to nurse uh, so much so, y'all. She almost like um, cracked her freaking neck <laughs> trying to get to the boob. Um, but she loves to nurse with me. She loves laying on her chest. She falls asleep and, straight on my chest. Yeah. Like, in all kinds of strange positions, it's crazy. She thinks but. she's just like a really big bit because <laughs> she just lays all over her. But I mean, she's she's perfect. She's healthy. She um, she passed all of her tests thus far that she's had. She's strong. Oh my gosh, she is so she is. strong. She my baby has like little biceps already and triceps. I equate that to mommy working out <laughs> all the time. Um, what else? She's, just she's a really good baby. She is. She only cries if something is wrong. Yeah. Um, like if she want to feed or if she's wet. Um, yeah. Or if she just wants some attention. Yeah, sometimes she attention. just want to be cuddled on or whatever. But other than that, she has a very faint cry, which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and she don't cry a lot. So mm. she's a really, really, really good baby. Yeah, I can't believe that she's already going to be two weeks on Friday. I swear that first week flew by like I looked up at her and it was Thursday again and I was like oh my god tomorrow's Friday I can't believe this like mm -hmm. so it's just going by fast already I feel like we're gonna be at six months <laughs> really quick yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah so say hi aunties and uncles 
Say thank you so much oh, for all, all of my presents. I appreciate it. And I cannot wait to let you see me grow up. Yes. So <laughs> if you don't know already, she does have an IG page. Um, her IG page and the reason why I decided to make it because I know some mothers get flack for why do you make um, social media for children is simply because of the fact that I'm an influencer all of my own um, and I just can't as much as I want to post my pretty cute baby all the time, mm -hmm. I can't fill my page with pictures of my baby all the time. So it's much better for her to have her own page. We're also working on some things mm -hmm. for her specifically that, you know, we will talk more about as we have solid details about. Mm -hmm. So it just makes sense for her to have her own page. And it's just her name worthy brand so you can follow her on instagram that's mm -hmm. where i will be posting a lot of her pictures um i know a lot of you were requesting me personally on facebook i do have to say that i am at my limit now so unfortunately i cannot add any more of you to my page if you're there you're already there but i've maxed out at five thousand, so i cannot accept any more friends so therefore if you really want to see her pictures you'll have to um go over to her her instagram page because the, on the there i will be making an effort to actually like watermark her pictures and the pictures i put on facebook i'm going to share with friends only just because people are really weird about taking your baby's pictures and yeah. i don't want no problems <laughs> and nobody <laughs> want no problems with me but yeah thank oh, you and then shout out to the people who have come and um, just inquired about where we've been, you know, oh, yes. um, Thank you. yeah, because it's always nice to feel thought about, especially when you went through so much. Like we said, we was last minute getting things together for her, you know, her arrival. Mm -hmm. Um, after that, we was trying to get settled, you know, with her coming home. Now we kind of got like a, a certain kind of flow. So, you know, we really appreciate you sending us messages. I've had a few people come over to my Instagram page and, just say, um, or even to our YouTube page and say, you know, where have you guys been? Mm -hmm. You know, I hope everything is okay. You know, I'm praying for a safe delivery. So we really appreciate all of those messages. And um, so, yeah, thank you so much. So thanks for watching this video. Do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Press the notification bell if you really love us. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.